No one's allowed to complain about me doing more subscription boxes because it's been a hot minute since I've done one. That's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda, you're watching Soul Entertainment and this week for I Tried It So You Don't Have To, I am reviewing Coca-Cola's Insider Club subscription box. I am a no good dirty soda drinker, okay? But I also don't drink alcohol and I don't smoke tobacco or anything like that. So I think I'm allowed a little bit of aspartame as a treat. Okay, I've earned it. But I had actually never heard of the Coca-Cola Insiders Club. It wasn't until someone on Twitter asked if I was going to be reviewing that subscription box. And I said, now I am, and I ordered it. And that was back in, God, November I ordered it. So the Coca-Cola Insiders Club is on a limited basis. Like there's only so many people who can be involved in it. And luckily I was told about it before they filled up because I had no idea that was a thing. So it's a good thing I didn't wait. Uh, but currently the Insiders Club is filled. So we filled every spot for this three month run of the Insiders Club, but you can still join the wait list for future spots. So uh, if anything that I talk about intrigues you, there is a wait list available if you want to get on that. So here's the breakdown of what the Insider Club is. Exclusive first taste. Uh, enjoy that first sip and everyone after as you savor the flavors of these new beverages before they're in stores nationwide. Refreshing surprises. Unlock carefully curated Coca-Cola swag and an exclusive virtual experience with a celebrity in every box. Delivered to your door. Don't get up. We'll come to you. This box is the most refreshing thing you'll open all month. So the way that the breakdown works is I ordered this, God, back in November, okay? And it's one flat fee and then you are basically paying in advance for three months of Coca-Cola products, okay? And these are products that are either about to hit the shelves or will be hitting shelves in the future. I like feeling exclusive. I like feeling fancy. I like feeling like a VIP, okay, on a budget. So I spent the $45 for the three month supply of the Coca-Cola Insiders box. Now January's box, I got back in January. I already opened it and I filmed everything. I will insert that footage here. Okay, January's box. Hey Amanda, welcome to the club. The Insiders Club is back to bring you new products before they hit the shelves nationwide, plus exclusive celebrity virtual experiences and fun swag. So this month you are invited to enjoy a virtual wellness workout with ESPN College Game Day host Desmond Howard. Look out for an email with all the details of the event soon. And at the time of filming this, I've already gotten the email. We've got Coca-Cola. Does it tell me what everything is? Okay, so this is the Coke Retro Can. I wish it would tell me when they are dropping. It just says they're coming soon. It doesn't tell me when they're dropping. So this is just the Coke retro can. I think it's regular Coke. It's just in a can. We got red pop tab. That's kind of cool actually. I do like the classic look. It's just Coke. That's it. Then we have Duncan iced coffee. This isn't iced. I'm gonna drink it still. So I'm just expecting it to have like a weird flavor. Duncan Girl Scout Ice Coffee. So this is the coconut caramel taste. This is like the caramel delight flavor. Sweet caramelly taste. Is caramelly a word? Okay. I don't, was it, did it tell me? I should, should, oh yeah, no, shake to wake. Best served chilled, recycle me, okay. I am, as a former Girl Scout, I wanna know who's making the money from this. That's actually really good. Usually drinks like these are way too sweet for me. There's, it's 250 calories. What's the sugar content? 37 grams of sugar. 27 of that is added sugar. Jeez. It's not too sweet though, which I do like. It does taste mostly like caramel. There's like no coconut in this whatsoever. Next drink, Powerade Zero Sugar Sports Drink. This is the watermelon berry flavor. However, there is also a different flavor that says it won't tell me, but there's a different flavor as well, but this is the watermelon berry. Yeah, it's good. It's just like that Powerade flavor of just watered down flavoring. Yeah, it's just Powerade. I didn't realize at the time, but this stuff totally immediately stained my teeth and mouth. And we're not done because, and here it says, but wait, there's more on the box, which I do like, cause like I'm nosy and like I wanna unpack things. So I would absolutely open this up, but some people might not. So, oh, okay. Ooh, Insiders Club Fanny Pack. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be the hottest dad at the sports park. Once upon a time, I was a bottle. Oh, it's made out of recycled plastic bottles. I like that. Okay, cool. Do you want me to carry something for you? 
Okay. Oh, I just realized I'm wearing the hat too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So then also in here, we've got some high seas. We've got blazing blueberry drink mix and mash and mango melon drink mix. I'm not going to drink these because that would involve getting up and doing other things. But then there's this Coca-Cola Insiders Club. Are these cards in the shape of bottles? Oh, they are cards. Come on. We live in a society. Okay. That's January. That was that for January. However, February uh, came and went really quickly, okay? So I actually never opened and reviewed the February box. And then literally the day before I filmed this, the March box came. But this works out because now I can review these both right here and then give my concluding thoughts in total. And then I can tell you whether or not I think this is worth 45 bucks for three months of uh, drinks. Ready? Are you excited? I'm excited, are you? Let's go. Okay, February. Oh, right. By the way, uh, Swall Entertainment merch, Teespring linked below. We had a bunch of new designs drop. You guys should check those out. Anyway, okay, Coca Cola Insiders Club. Naturally, I blocked out my address. Supposedly, this box is recycled and it will be recycled again, which I like. Anyway, refreshments has arrived. Insiders Club, so we've got a little maze. Um, and then, so for the month of February, you are invited to enjoy a virtual event with 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup champion, Kelly O'Hara. Look out for an email with all the details soon. And I did get that in February, okay? February again just got away from me and it was just not something I was able to keep up with. Okay, so first we have vitamin water, zero sugar, gutsy watermelon peach. Okay. Wow, that is really good. Why, oh gosh. I taste no watermelon, but the peach, wow, that's great. That's like, sorry, there's like a really weird aftertaste on that one. It's not horrible, but that's definitely some weird aftertaste in that. Okay, so that's one. And then we have another smart water, ashwagandha tangerine extract tranquility. Is it flavored water? Assuming it's tangerine extract. I smell it more than I taste it. Yeah, um, it's like LaCroix without the bubbles. I'm, I'm not a fan of that, personally. Um, it's not horrible, like I'll drink it. God, what fl what flavor of LaCroix is that? It's the taint, it's like, oh God, no. Okay, it's not horrible, I'll drink it. Vapor distilled water with electrolytes for taste and infused with extracts. How is this infused? This is 10 calories, I don't even think that's worth the 10 calories, God. Okay, it's not, what is wrong with this bottle? Jesus. Okay, I'm assuming that it was just bumped or something. Well, you see, <laughs> it's just slanted. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we've got a Minute Maid Super Juice Drink Fruit Punch. Okay, and if anyone's wondering if any of this stuff is uh, expired yet or anything like that because it's been sitting in the box, um, no, none of this expires till July, so I'm chilling. Wow, I haven't had one of these fruit punch things since I was like a kid. Hold on. There we go. Ooh, have they always been that sweet? God, five grams sugar and protein. Are we sure it's only five? That seems like more. Yeah, total sugar is five grams. Okay. That's so sweet, it's making my eyes water. It says 40 calories per box. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, the, it's just really sweet. It's not tart or anything. It's just really sweet. I mean, I wouldn't buy it for my kid. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, but wait, there's more. So like in the last one, there was a fanny pack and a thing of cards. This one has, ooh, straws. Are these paper straws? Paper Coca-Cola straws. All the ladies are gonna love that one. And a tote bag? Oh, Coca-Cola Insiders Club tote bag. It's pretty nice. I mean, okay, imagine me with my fit walking down Sunset Boulevard, okay? And I'm just rocking this. Would you give me your panties or not? Nah? Okay, because you're like, oh my God, is that small entertainment? Is that Amanda Golka? Is she, is she a Coca-Cola insider? Oh my God, wifey, such a wifey. Oh my God, that's what you're thinking, right? I know. And then inside here as well, we have some pins. Enjoy a Coca-Cola with the trademark on it. And then uh, I like this one a lot. It's actually got uh, like little bottles of Coca-Cola on it. I like that a lot. 
Uh, I like these more than I like the tote bag. Personally, I would prefer if the extra stuff didn't have the Insiders Club branding on it and it just had the Coca-Cola branding, you know? But I mean, I guess they want me to be reminded that I'm a VIP always and I do like that. I appreciate being constantly reminded I'm a VIP, so. On to March. Here's to all our awesome insiders. As we wrap up this run of the Insiders Club, we want to thank you for helping us kick off 2021. This may be your last shipment, but we hope you enjoyed every sip and exclusive first taste of these new Coca-Cola products. Look for all your favorites online and on shelves soon. So first we have AHA raspberry and acai or AHA mango and black tea. Which one did I get? I got uh, raspberry and acai, it looks like. Uh, Powerade, power water lemon, and then recycled PET, RPET, sip sized Coke or Coke Zero Sugar. I got Coke Zero Sugar, so. And then this month you are invited to a virtual cooking lesson with professional chef Jonathan Zaragoza. Look for an email with all the details soon. And then also unleash your inner child a little coloring page with butterflies on it. Very nice. Okay, so let's start with the Aha Raspberry and Acai Natural Flavored and Other Flavors Sparkling Water, zero calories per can. 0% juice, so what's in it? No sweetener, no sodium. Is it just bubbles? Huh. You know when your brain is like chasing a flavor but you don't know what it is because there's not enough of it for you to really identify it? That's what my brain is doing. I know I compare everything to LaCroix. However, it's like LaCroix except bitter, like more bitter, it's like, the, the, I don't know how to describe that bitter taste. It's not like sodium, like it's not salty. It's like, it's not metallic either. God, what is that taste? It's just on my tongue. Like it's not like, you know, like when you feel things in your teeth, it's not like that. It's like on my tongue. Do not hire me to be a professional taste tester or don't invite me to taste testing at your wedding because I'm just clearly bad at identifying flavors. A renewed sense of hydration. No, I don't, I don't know. I feel like a cat. Okay, power water, yay. <laughs> I'm only saying this because I think it's important. Um, don't drink all of these at one time. I don't recommend that because my stomach already annoyed me, but I'm gonna make a sandwich after this, so that's fine. Uh, power water, electrolyte, water, beverage, lemon. Okay. See, I like Powerade, so I don't think... How do I open this up? <laughs> Amanda struggles for 15 minutes. Oh, that's stupid good. Wait. I like the sippy cup. Is that bad? I love one of these lids. Do you guys remember Propel? I know I'm mentioning a completely different brand, but Propel, they had the best top lids like this. Yeah, that's stupid good. How many calories is in this? Zero calories, okay. The lemon is there, but it's not bad. It's, it's just kind of like a watered down lemonade, but not watered down like where it like feels like you're chasing the flavor. It's pretty good, actually. I like this one a lot. Pretty good, okay. And then we've got a mini Coke Zero. So apparently these are from recycled bottles and that's like the point of this is that they're doing a run of recycled plastic bottles. I'm assuming that's the point. They're asking you to recycle this bottle, so that's good. Tastes like a Coke Zero. Coke Zero isn't my favorite, but I don't hate it, so. There's a lot of artificial flavors coaxing through my body right now. This is the last thing of this box. Oh! Oh, okay, so I've got a uh, a webcam cover. Very nice. Coca-Cola branded webcam cover. <laughs> um, an Insider Club sticker. And a Powerade bottle, that's blue, that does not say Coca-Cola on it whatsoever. I kinda like that though, you know? Ooh, what's the lid look like? Hang on. Ah, wait, I'm so confused. How do I, does the lid open or no? Oh, it doesn't open. It's one of those like, it's one of that. Can you see? It's like the ones where it's like a sippy cup. I'm literally still using my G Fuel Templar for water right now. I should just keep doing things like this because I just end up getting water bottles. It's pretty good actually. Pretty durable, full of water, full of ice. I could probably like wax them with it. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. That's everything in this box, by the way. Overall, is this worth $45? For three months of different trying drinks, if you're a fan of the Coca-Cola brand, I think you get a pretty good variety. If it was just like, oh, each month you get three of the same thing or like one of everything, or if it was $45 per month, no, this would not be worth it. But since it's $45 for every month, and I'm assuming that this three month period is going to be different 
drinks for the next three month period because at the end of the day, Coca-Cola is a huge brand. They have a wide inventory selection. They could probably do a lot of these for the next year. So, I mean, I think it's kind of fun if you like soda, if you like various products, um, cause there are certain things like most of these, I probably wouldn't buy. I wouldn't have tried most of these ever, but like, I actually really like this one. This one's really good. And uh, the uh, Girl Scout drink that I tried in the uh, January box, I actually like that one a lot. So yes, I do think it's worth $45. I do think it would be better if like maybe you did one box and then like you had a roommate or something or like you and your family or something and then that way you guys can all try it. And then that way if there's something you don't like, someone else can have it and you can have the thing that you do like. Unlike me, I have to drink all of these because I don't want to be wasteful because I live alone now. Oh, and just to point out as well, it looks like on the website, they actually used to have a red Insiders Club box, but they switched out to the entirely recycled boxes, which I actually prefer. Uh, as cool as the red boxes look, I like that the packaging is completely recyclable, so I do prefer that. Is it as cool looking? No. But sometimes sustainability has to be put above aesthetic. I do like a lot of the uh, little bonus items, uh, like the tote bag, looks pretty nice and pretty sturdy. I will say this about the fanny pack that I got from the January box. I wear that hiking all the time. It's like the perfect size for me and it's adjustable and uh, I like it. I don't know how cool I look on the hiking trails when people are like, damn, she's a Coca-Cola insider. So I have no idea if uh, having just the Coca-Cola branding over Coca-Cola insider would be a good idea on the extra merch. But yeah, that's something to consider potentially. I'm trying to think of other things I can say about the Coca-Cola Insider box, but I don't think there's anything else. I would do this again, mainly because I do like Coke products, even though there were a lot of stuff in these that I didn't like. Um, it is a variety, which I do always like when it comes to subscription boxes, especially when you have no say over what you are getting. I think variety is a good way to go when it comes to subscription boxes. And also like I can always, you know, invite friends over next time when there's not a pandemic, if I do this again and give them the things that I don't think I will like. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end this. So have you ever tried being a Coca-Cola insider? Are you a fan of Coca-Cola? What's your favorite soda drink? Do you think I am awful and that I'm gonna die early because I drink diet soda or soda in general? Let me know, comment down below. And that's gonna be it. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. No, but seriously, no one should get mad at me for drinking soda because it's like literally my only bad, like actually bad habit that I have. <laughs> and I think I should be allowed at least one. Thank you, Elaine, Allie, Alan, Elise, Alex, Braden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crush, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, S and M, Beckles, Hopeless, Hollow, Junk Ray, Jakers, Joe, John M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Chris, and Lexi, Luis, Manga, Matt, Matt O, Matthew S, Me, Lord the Red, Michael, Mecca, Jay, Nathaniel, Pat, Palak, Rob, Robbie, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stephen, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Tyrone, Wendy, William, Zendry.